around vending machines your entire life, right? But I can pretty much guarantee you've never seen one like this. This is one that developers insist can sell adult-only items, things like alcohol, pot, even guns. Let's get right to it and answer the probably 800 questions that just jumped right into your brain. Pot is the one that got this idea going. The company that made the smart vending machine is called American Green. It's out of Phoenix and describes itself as a technology manufacturer that supports the legal cannabis industry. And while these developers may be thinking about getting you your high, the point here is that this is a vending machine that knows who you are, how old you are, could potentially even know your criminal record, all sorts of stuff so that if you walk up and want to buy something that normally a human would have to sell you because they have to see your ID or prescription or do a background check for purchases like NyQuil, casino chips, and yes, even maybe a handgun. Well, this machine does all that too, and a lot of that's because you'll have to register yourself with the system before buying anything. You can register at the time of purchase, so it's not like you have to do it a day or a week in advance. Uh, but yes, you have to first create an account and then associate that crowd, uh, account with your vein architecture. After that, you simply present your finger to make your purchases in the future. Vein architecture. Sounds scary, and still might after this explanation, but will be less so after you hear one of the reasons why the machine uses it. Vein architecture is a biometric way of making sure you are who you say you are, like a fingerprint, but unlike a fingerprint, and this is the part that's supposed to make you feel good, if someone chops off your finger, hoping to get your share of weed or booze or whatever, it won't work. Fingerprint, you can cut your finger and get a false negative, whereas vein architecture is as unique as a fingerprint, and uh, it's, um, no longer functions if for some reason blood stops flowing into that finger. So there's no point in trying to take somebody's finger without their willingness. The machine seems pretty sturdy and does have a camera up front to capture anyone who might just try to break the thing open to get at what's inside. American Green's response to questions about that though, people break into stores and rob humans all the time. This with its extra layers of metal and an alert that goes off the second someone starts messing with it is arguably safer. Still, it's choosing to let whoever's selling the products inside fight those legal battles. Creators say you'll be able to get your hands on one, or your vein architecture on one, within the next few months as it works out deals with marijuana dispensaries, casinos, and professional sports teams. 